with the launch season we've had so far, you would be forgiven for thinking that Visa Cash App RB, oh, still a terrible name. We're gonna have another car which we were not gonna be excited about. In fact, I had reserved 10th in my rankings, especially for the Visa Cash App RB car. I mean, after all, they were promoting it with this bubblegum color before it actually came out. So why would we expect it to be any good? Well, actually, so far, it's the one car which has actually come out with a fully painted livery. There's very minimal bare carbon fiber on this car. So at least they can do something right. I mean, after all, they can't name their team well, but they can design a car that looks fantastic. It's even gone against a trend of having that matte paint color on it. Instead, it's got this glossy, shiny, fully painted livery, which we are just in love with, which is great because earlier in the week, Alpine launched their new car. In fact, they launched two new cars, both of which were mainly black. They were mainly black cars. They had such a little amount of paint on them that when they actually went and showed the second car, the special livery they had designed in all pink for their sponsor BWT, you couldn't actually tell any difference. It barely looked any different at all. I mean, after all, this is one of the teams which, which used to stand out on track. When Alpine first came in, they had an electric blue color, which just, it really stood out to the eye. It looked fantastic, highlighting the French flag to so the French heritage of the team. It also had the, the branding of Castro. They still have that. And when they were to blend the two together, oh, it looked fantastic. A really lovely looking car. And now they've gone for the bare carbon, like the whole back of the grid. And yes, it doesn't look that interesting. Bare carbon cars, really, they're telling you they're struggling with the weight limit that they can't get to the weight limit, which really tells you that they have a car which they can't really design the way they want to. They can't even color it the way they want to. Adding a livery to the car, that paint is not a paint, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap, but it adds one kilogram in weight to the Formula One car, one kilogram. So yes, if you are just over the weight limit and you want to get under it, well, yeah, that's, you know, not bad. You know, it's an easy way to save weight, but they're using this stripping all the paint off they clearly are having a problem with this getting the weight the way they wanted to. And when you actually get to the weight limit, you can then play around with the balance of the car. Now, the, I was gonna call them Toro Rosso and I was about to call them Alfa Tauri. No, the Visa Cash App RB team, they've painted their car fully. So clearly weight is not an issue unless they start stripping the paint off during the season. But clearly for them, weight isn't an issue, which is great. It's what we need. We need cars which have color, that are vibrant. But that means that I think that they're gonna be higher up the grid than they were last season. They're actually gonna be doing okay on that front because they don't need to save all that weight, that whole kilogram, by stripping as much of the livery off as possible so they can get performance from other areas of the car. A really positive sign for this team which is struggling with an identity, but if they can come out strong, that's great. They also have got in their livery good strong hints back to Toro Rosso. Oh, it looked like an old Toro Rosso. In fact, if you were to squint your eyes that's what you'd see. Brilliant, great to, to harken back to the heritage, finally trying to find some form of an identity in there with a name which is clearly gonna change every time sponsors change. Now we have a lot of the launch season ahead, so we have a lot of cars that are gonna be coming into the ranking. So let's rank these ones. Where do we put Alpine with their bare carbon cars which don't look any different? Well, if I could give them 10th and 11th, I would, because really there's so little to these cars. In fact, the actual Alpine looks very interesting. The design of the car looks really interesting but there's nothing to that paint scheme it it, it just it looks like everything else and in fact it's worse because it's more black than it is any other car so the fact that they released two of them in such an underwhelming spectacle means they get the 10th and 11th spot in our ranking what about visa cash app rb this is a full, fully painted car. And to be fair, if all the other cars had a full paint scheme, I don't think this one would actually be that interesting. But because it has, it actually grabs the eye and makes a big difference. So, oh, I've got to put them somewhere, haven't I? Let's put Visa Cash App RB into the ranking. They've got to be fifth. Because although I love the, the full painted car, there isn't actually that much to delivery. And I know that there's some better cars coming out, um, which are going to be fully painted. So yeah, Visa Cash App RB is going to be fifth. Sorry if you're a fan, or no you're not. But we have a lot of launches coming up over the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that, because we're gonna be able to finish out this ranking and get excited for pre-season testing and the first race of the season. What do you think of the Alpine and the Visa Cash App RB liveries? And do you think these teams are gonna do well or struggle in the next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.